bouncy bouncy I'm standing out in the open. This is a standard talking uh, volume. No connected microphone. It's just the ambient sound straight from the hardware's uh, mic. The reason I'm doing this is Partly to get used to walking around, recording myself, but also partly, and I probably will try and not talk to the camera, because it's still very much makes me self-conscious and self-aware and the point is to not feel self-conscious and to stop being so goddamn self-aware because it takes me out of the flow it takes me out of other possibilities of being In the dying of the sunset light behind that building over there, I think I'll just park myself on this bench here. All of this makes me uncomfortable, it makes me self-conscious. I have to get used to a practice and I don't like, I don't like faffing around, but it's necessary to fine tune. Maybe I can't even sit back. Mental dialogue. I don't think this video will be helpful for anyone. This is again another step in my journey to 
familiarize myself and to um, get gradually more comfortable. The reason why I'm deciding to talk now is because I'm relatively alone and to do a general audio test to see if it's a viable option. Uh, but if I was to speak my mind out here in the middle of a field is I'm very aware of lots of things and the things that I've been working on with um, the resource project is very much it's very much acknowledging how I'm holding my self back or to rephrase that how myself is holding me back And what I mean by that is the aspect of the self, the identity, the ego. I am progressively stepping outside of myself and more into other forms, which allows me the peace, the freedom, the permission to observe and to perceive further truths that can only be experienced if one is permitted to step outside of themselves or their self. This is entirely cringy, of course. Cringy to who? Or whom? The self, of course. My self. Possessive. And the fact that I'm choosing to do this again and again Especially today when I have a symptomatic outbreak of HSV-1. That's part of the point. The point that the more we catch ourselves hiding truths, we know that we are ultimately being very selective with how we portray our being to a limited spectrum of essentially conformity. And it is of form, it is of self. And it's not useful when there's much more of the spectrum to discover, to reveal, to pour out when people have emotional expressions, truthful expressions. We usually feel like we are not permitted to do so unless under particular circumstances and it's a difference between that limitation of societal expectation and then the self-governance of restriction of inhibition of belief of whatever and I'm so tired of it it persists and I am resisting I am rebelling against that old paradigm the pre-existing paradigm and that's basically what's at the root of so many ill practices 
and so much suffering is that it's all self-centered, self-centric. I want to capture beauty, I want to capture authenticity. And you can't do that when you are playing the game of conformity. So, gradually, step by step, you do what you can, you do what you will, in order to push past your individual and societal collective comfort zone I've mentioned before that I don't want to edit so much, but I think I just have to get more efficient with it because the idea of walking around and talking to a camera, recording myself, A, it's not allowing me to be present outside of myself, my mind, my possessive aspects. And B, I forgot about B. It doesn't allow me to be present. And also, also I don't think it works very well in terms of the audio unless really quiet, really still. But I imagine the um, sounds of construction in the far distance, even here where it's relatively quiet, are still distracting. And I am distracted. So I think it's best that I find a way to Record my thoughts, but not in real time. Because we don't have the technology to mind read yet. So one step at a time. Record, hands-free, out and about. Oh, what's that smell? It smells like... Roasted nuts and wood chips. Hmm. I haven't had any weed today. I'm choosing to reduce my intake. Previously, I've been pretty much on a daily basis, multiple times a day. Small, small doses, microdosing. The whole point is not to get blasted, but to, in moderation, slowly creep outside of a default sober state of self-centric experience and limitation and more into the open free flow state of flow of high a higher state and I think through my practices 
I mean, I'm standing in, in the middle of a field doing this. <laughs> and I'm getting okay with it. Slowly. I do like to take my time with things. So, in the future, I think what I'll do is get used to a hands-free selfie rig setup. Whether I stick with this, which is bouncing around floppy, it is nice because I can take this off and I can use these flexible feet to secure onto a railing or something uh, and be a little bit more free, get different perspectives. I can even just pop it on the ground. I mean, the sound obviously is going to be less and further away but the point is not to record my voice and narrate in real time anyway the point is to be present No one will see this video, so it's okay. The more and quicker I get used to whatever it is that I'm doing here and not be constantly pulled out of the present of flow state and uh, forever be trapped in the loops of yeah <sighs> embarrassment is so unhelpful it's so limiting who is it serving it's just serving to perpetuate the con conformity and the constructs of pride and vanity and self image Let's slowly move away from that, shall we? It is part of the truth, but not the valuable truth. What a waste of storage. But I did it. I'm doing it. It might be better to go with the the hip attachment. rather than this um, this dangly form
every step counts. Until next time.